Hi everyone, it's Margaret here just to share a couple of pillow projects that I finished. Um, it's January and I, I think I have the winter blues right now so I do get a little lazy uh, with uh, uh, shooting um, the videos but anyway um, they're here now and um, I wanted to show you. Um, these are um, uh, shabby chic uh, style and uh, what I've done was is I've just taken a uh, cushion insert. This particular one is uh, 9 by 12 and uh, I created the shell for it. I sewed um, a beautiful uh, lace on top of uh, this particular one is like a, a very pale pale uh, blue satin lining and um, I created the shell for it and then I started to embellish uh, the, the front of it. Um, most of this is, uh, again, hand-stitched, uh, but there are pieces that are glued on um, simply because it's, it's much easier to do it that way. It's sometimes impossible to sew the pieces on. So what I've done was I've just um, used the, uh, the lace base and quite simply just used a beautiful um, vintage photo of a mother and a child. And then I just embellished it with some uh, wedding uh, dress applique, created a little ruffle behind it to create some dimension. And then on the side, I just made a, uh, a lace base for this beautiful uh, shabby ribbon flower here. And then um, I just added a few little uh, pieces of interest here, a little um, uh, strand of pearls and a little bit of fringe in the corner there. And just use these little dangle rosettes on the corner and repeat it on this corner here. So as I said, it's um, quite simple to do. Um, a lot of people are saying they want to do journals, but they're very intimidated. What I would suggest, um, a good way to start a journal is to Practice on making these little pillows or um, the little door hanger pillows too. They're very simple to do on a smaller scale, but you can um, you can practice layering. And I actually started um, when I started crafting uh, many years ago. I I did lots and lots of pillows, and I think that really did help me um, uh, teach me how to start with the layering process when it came to to journals. So anyway, that's that pillow here. And um, again, um, layering um, pieces of uh, um, laces and scraps here. Uh, and that's that one. Now I did another one, which is more of a, a vintage style. I used a lot of doilies um, and continued that throughout the pillow, which is this one right here. And this one here, I again, I did have a um, a cushion shell, um, uh, sorry, insert for this, and I created a shell using some um, muslin, and I wanted to keep it a little bit um, shabby and vintagey. So I just left the the back plane, as you can see, with the muslin, and then um, creating the uh, the shell for the insert, and um, sewed a beautiful doily on the top which uh, creates the, uh, um, the fringe all around. And then on top of that, I just layered um, other pieces of doilies. And this is actually from a, um, a collar, which I embellished with pearls. And this too was from a collar, which was already embellished with pearls and sequins. So I used that um, for the corners. And here you will see too that on top of the uh, of the doily fringe, I ruffled up some uh, vintage eyelet. And uh, I really love eyelet, but this one in particular is so pretty that I decided uh, it had such a shabby look to it that I included a row of it on the bottom. Then I repeated the same um, eyelet uh, to create this ruffle on the side. And this is a, um, a vintage photo of a lady. I actually hand beaded her, her dress to give it a little bit more interest. And then I decorated it with some uh, little applique flowers and pearls. And um, then on the side here, I made a flower out of uh, 
crocheted uh, pieces and uh, added a little bit of uh, trim, a little bit of fringe here and embellish the flower with a little bit of uh, a little uh, pearl and rhinestone uh, center and Va sent that to me. Thanks again Va. And as you can see it's just layering and layering until you get the effect that you want. Now this one's really pretty. Um, doesn't have much color to it. Um, it is uh, like I said more of a, a shabby vintage uh, feel to it. Um, and this particular one is 9 by 13, so it is a little bit bigger than, uh, than the other one. So that's, that's my second pillow. Now, I was playing today in my craft room, and probably like you all, I have a big, a big box of uh, pieces of scraps that uh, I've accumulated, and I never want to throw anything out because you never know when, uh, when you'll, you can use a piece or two. So I was just playing around and I came up with this little little shoe. And what I did with this is I just took a little template of a little Victorian shoe and I cut out um, double, double pieces of uh, lace with uh, muslin um, lining and then I sewed it together and just embellished it with all the little pieces of scraps that I had. Now I'm probably this is probably going to be a um, a fragrant fragrance free sachet, um, or you can use it as a um, as a pin cushion. But just to give you an idea, don't throw away all those little pieces of scraps because they do come in handy. So I will be making a few more of these shoes, uh, probably in different uh, styles. And see what I come up with but I thought that was kind of pretty it's got little uh, little bling on it and uh, nice soft peachy lace and nothing goes to waste so hope you liked it uh, and I hope you you guys are enjoying your winter because I sure am not and I'm uh, praying for the Sun very soon and hope for an early spring so thanks for watching all and see you again soon bye for now